Hello, my precious Rosebud, this is your girl Rose Thorn, and we are back with more Dang on Rampa. Coley forgot to dust them after you load. <laughs> Let's click Toko first. Toko? Don't tell me Toko too. Relax, she just passed out when she saw the blood. The blood? Oh, that's right, when Toko's Toko, she has a fear of blood. We tried everything to get her to wake up, but no luck. Just leave her be for now. It's like he said, I could just leave her be for now. Another hammer. Now it's just this hammer for and see her better than before. However. But why just this hammer four? Huh, what do you mean? Phyllis was attacked with just this hammer one. Then Azumi was hit with just this hammer two. But this time it was just this hammer four, we're having the number three. Ah. What's the matter? Mmm. When you just mess well, when you just message just a hammer three. You just remind me. Oh, was it? Do you know something? Actually, Taka's not the only one who's been killed. Hifumi's dead, too. Well, Hifumi's been killed. Yeah. Which is why you came to get us. Now we better check it out. Of course, come on. So, Sakura, Birku, and I rushed out of the physics lamps. I only use spacebar after talking, because it makes it easier for me. But as soon as we were out of the physics lab, or I found crocheting or something, which I'm not, the last star you're supposed to be waiting in the nurse's office. Okay. Something has something has come up. Hmm. Yeah, I heard. Fatumi's dead too, right? Mm -hmm. Well, that's not all. It's, it's gone. What's well, gone? It has disappeared. Oh god, it doesn't mean I cannot Fumi's body has disappeared. I like that for her. What? What did you say? What are you talking about? It's disappeared. Don't be ridiculous. Come on. Are you serious? What? What the heck is happening here? Hey. Everyone, back to the nurse's office. I practically leapt down the stairs, losing my balance. I went to the nervous office, completely out of breath. Ironically, if you want to get me mad, you take away my games. I have to rec- I have a new game to play later. I couldn't believe my eyes. I think the bomb was just there a few minutes ago. Just disappeared. Me and Celeste went to the bathroom, but we were gone only for like a minute. And then we got back. Indeed. This must have been the work of the culprit. They must have gotten away the body. 
Turns the side of the stand here. We're all gonna die here. We're gonna die just like those guys died. What did you say? I don't believe this. Why is my... I don't believe anybody would just disappear. Why? First there have been two minutes. And now one of the bodies has been taken. This is unnatural. Huh? Hold on. What do you mean? Two murders. Doc has been killed. We found him in the equipment room. No way! It can't be Taka too. It can't be! It can't be! No! Hina, Hina, calm down. We're all gonna die. All of us. They're gonna kill us, all of us. <laughs> Who might be the next target? Toko. I completely forgot she's still unconscious in the equipment room. Well. You left her at the scene of the crime? We didn't have a choice. She was passed out and refused to wake up. Huh? So, she is still unconscious? Damn. Wait, so he knew she was still up there and said nothing? Why? <laughs> There's an annoying little insect that clings to me wherever I go. We'd be ever so off without her. Bastard. You yeah, I don't need to say that because she said it for me. Calm down, you forgot about her, didn't you? You have no right to blame me. Everyone, stop fighting right now. We need to hurry back. I can't take this anymore. I don't want anyone else to die. Be a curious something happened to her, little girl. Never forgive you. Hmm. I am thirsty. My mouth tastes like bubblegum. And my soda still tastes like I have fucking mints in my mouth. We shut off the nurse's office and bolted up the stairs and back to the third floor. Ran back to the equipment room full speed when we got there. Doko. Thank God you're okay. Right now the way I noticed there was something very wrong here. It was gone. Douglas' body should have been here. Has disappeared. This, this game's can't be happening. Oh, he's hallucinating all this or something. No, it's not a hallucination. I know I saw before, and what I'm seeing now is not what I saw before. Huh? What? Are you saying Douglas disappeared too? Stop, Stop saying disappeared. It didn't vanish into thin air. Obviously, whoever did this has it hidden the body. Why would they do that? I couldn't possibly begin to imagine. Anyway, I caught this up with this clear continuing his spine through. We gotta hurry and catch him before he kills all of us. Oh, do you think you... I don't think any ever. Huh? Think about it. Who could possibly be responsible for killing these and hiding the body? Um... Hero and uh, Kyoki. When Hufumi's death cry went up, everyone was here together on the third floor. So I was split up in two groups. And right now, this time, you all came here as a group to the nurse's office. In other words, the only ones who have done this are Hiro and Kyoko. Also, I'm saying, hold on a second. Kyoko has an alibi for once less than Fumi were attacked. No question that she was in the dining hall with us. Hmm, you seem very adamant about defending her. Perhaps you are in love? That's not it at all. Well, anyway, yes, I do accept Kyoko's alibi. Which means the suspicious individual we are looking for can none other be than Hero. Hmm. Which further means there will be no murders. The regulation is very clear about that. Oh, that's right, there's a rule that says that you can only kill maximum as long as that rule is in place. We will not be a certain murder if they break the rule. Shing! Shing! And mince meat ya! Mince ya without a second salt! Mince ya, grind ya, turn ya into paste! By the way, did you know that fish face can also refer to shellfish like shrimp and crabs? Weird little tidbit. Mm. Indeed. So since two people have been killed, 
There is no possibility of any more. Perhaps. You knew that from the beginning, didn't you? Which means you knew Mataka who was never in the... I still meant when I said I'd be better off with us, though. In other words. Anyway, with this in mind, we can now relax and search for the two missing bodies. The two missing bodies. Two, the two people have their bodies hidden. The only one without an alibi is the one who could have done it. It's Hiro. But it's Hiro really the killer. What about Kyoko? If she's not involved in this case, where did she go? Mikoto, what's the matter? Uh oh, it's nothing. Hmm. Whatever, we need to find those little narrative here. We need to find those bodies. Our little narrative here can't move forward. Alright, well then let's fill it up and begin searching. Uh, itchy, itchy, itchy! Well, that and the heat and the sun, and of course I fucking have to get bit by a bed by a uh, crap. What well, wasn't a mosquito, it was something freaking else that was flying. I got bit by a goddamn fly. Shoulder, 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 hang on. Tank tops, outdoors, heat. Insects. Never fun. I almost said a dead bug. Why the fuck did I almost say a dead bug? Dead bug. Uh, cause I slapped and killed it. That works. <laughs> There's no fear of food. No more murders will take place during this case. I mean, I, mean, I think I do, but... If you're still nervous, I'll kill him. Okay, thank you. No need to thank me. No, well, let's get moving. Y'all, if we find anything. Could be a left seat corner and followed by the others. I have no idea to try to find the two missing bodies. Which means we're gonna go from door to door. This is gonna be fun. Yeah, I'm just walking. That's the third. No, that's to the fourth floor. I had to think for a minute. I opened up the third floor. Yeah, this may be a two-parter investigation, but... At least I'm giving you guys the vid rather than just going... Oh, I'm gonna do this, and I'm gonna jump straight to a court case, and I'm gonna say, fuck you all. Not an asshole. Oh, wait, what floor are we on? Oh, we're on the second floor. Yeah, because he was killed on the first. And he was killed in the second. Alright. I'm going, to wait a minute. Oh no, we're on the third floor. Alright. I know no one's in the first room. Because why would anyone be there? Here we go. If anything, you're gonna hide him in a classroom that no one frequents. No one frequents the Surrey B3 3A classrooms. No one really goes in these. They mainly stick to the main one. And if they do go in these, they're like... I doubt you check under a desk for a body. Getting tired of this. That's actually cute. Whoever is doing those are very, very talented. Because it's always chalk bear.
Despair Squadron Monokuma. So there were three Despair people. Makoto. Come on. Why are you just standing there? We need to get to the repository. How do you mean? Indeed. I found them. Fumi and Tax bodies are both in the repository, which is in the art room. Goodbye. I've already told Hina Sakura. We'll go on ahead. He's like. Bags are in the repository. Should really do this so I know, I know if it's recording or not. That's the back of the art room. Got all the mallets lined up, if I recall. I have very limited memory when it comes to certain things. Like I can remember kicking ass in a video game and winning. Not remembering how I won. For example, I beat Portal, beat everything in Portal, go back, try to do one of the harder puzzles, go. Didn't I do this one and then die in two seconds? Especially if I'm used to easier shit. Then the hardest shit I will not remember. Are the bodies here somewhere? They're back there. A bit of the repository, these are not turned. I guess it's unlocked, and I don't know, I have no chance to go inside. Yeah, if you come in here before, you'll talk to Hina and Sakura, and they will say the door is locked. I did not do that bit, I just ran forward. I ran forward because I figured, oh hey, I don't need to do that bit. Because it doesn't matter really all that much. So I opened the door, and when I entered, I saw. Yeah, Kuyo, go home like, this is no big deal. The two bodies had disappeared right there. Small blood made me gag. What I saw before my eyes was unquestionable, unavoidable, unwavering reality. Then I heard the announcement for the second time. And so here we are! Come file. Without further ado, let me give you all the next Monokuma file! Did I do that right? I hope I did that right. I was gonna hand them out when you were found the bodies the first time I saw something really happen. It was really hard to resist, but it turns out I was right! 
Just hand it over, right? Now make sure that investigation with all your mental mind and prepare for the class trial. Okay, see ya later. He's annoying. Hmm. Well, now that we found the bodies, it's less than a couple of Hold on, how can you be so calm? I mean, they're dead, you know? Dead! Gone forever, they're never coming back! Oh, well, this is just awful. <laughs> he has suddenly burst into tears. She closed his at Hofumi's lifeless body. Who would do this? Why? Why? Large wet tears fell from her eyes. Tears landed on Hofumi's cheeks. If this was some world of make believe, that might have been what Hofumi opened his eyes, but it wasn't a movie. This wasn't. He's alive again? Where am I? Cold. So cold. Is winter coming? Hifumi, wake up! Huh? Uh, that's right. I remember now. Hope's peak. Come on, you gotta wake up! His memories are blending together, and nothing he pulled off for us. Notice I am not saying anything because I know, I know big, I remember this, I remember this part and I'm still crying over this part. Yasu Hero. Yasu Hero. His eyes closed, and they never opened again. Death for the second time. Absolute undeniable death. No matter how many of more of his has splashed in his face, there was no second miracle. Reality set in again. This isn't something. Stereotypical fantasy worlds. Tears can't restore a person's vitality. Honestly. You have no tears, do you? No blood in your veins. No calcium in your bones. At least you have your meat. Stop talking. You're just angry. Going out of his way to return just to leave us with unnecessary dying words. Now this game has become exceedingly boring. He said Yashu Hero, right? Yashu Hero. How. Gakuri 
That's the only person who you could have been referring to. So in other words, and with that, the case is solved. Assault some people, even killing Taka and confusing me. They went so far as to hide their bodies. A criminal that hides his face behind a mask and uses a bunch of giant wooden hammers. Is that what a hero is? What is this? If it's true, I can't forgive him. No way can I ever forgive him. To kill two of our friends. Anyway, it's about time we tracked down the copper in our little life or death game. Although this time it's not all life or death, the trial will conclude without much trouble. Yes, it does look that way. It's going to be again again. We have to walk through this one more time. I have to accept it. I have no choice but to go through with this to make everyone else survive. It's just what I have to do. Yes, of course, we're in investigation mode now. First, I better check some Malakuma file. First, I better fucking save this shit. Because I'm not redoing that again. That was just a clusterfuck of me fucking talking. Even though that's all this game really fucking is, it's just me fucking talking. It's still a good game. The victims were Hifumi, Yamada, and Ki Taka Ishimaru. The cause of death was each a blow to the head. It is thought that they were both killed with a similar weapon. That's it's it. Yeah, it's pretty strange. We got a way less information than the time mm. before. That is no problem. After all, the events of this case unfolded before our very eyes. We should know more about what happened in the Malcolm file, because anyway, maybe. And my game for us. Someone else is bothering me. Someone's been missing for quite a while. Why are you talking about Kyoko? Well, if she has an alibi for once less than him from your attack, but if the killer wasn't acting alone, what if they had an accomplice? An accomplice. An accomplice? What are you doing here? Don't be rude, I'm not here to answer your question. What question? Yep. You're talking about the accomplices, right? I'm pretty sure I explained it before, didn't I? In the first class trial? He talks fast, so I'm trying to talk as fast. But it's coming out as blah 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 Speaking of which, I'd like to ask the bear if there is an accomplice. Do they also become blackened? So you ask, and so I shall answer. Each murder is allowed to have an accomplice, but only the one who does the killing will get to graduate. Which makes no sense why you'd want an accomplice be one, because you'll just die. Or you can write out your fucking person and kill them off. Then I can understand being an accomplice. So in other words, two people can work together, but one of them has no chance of profiting from it. There yes. No way anyone would work together, right? Then there's no way anyone would work together, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. In other words... So basically, you can be an accomplice if you want, but there's no gratification in it. So, then. so are you saying nobody works together this time either? Hey, um, Sorry, I can't answer that. It would have been stuck to free exchange. Reformation between you guys. 
I just want to make sure everyone doesn't forget. No matter how much you might assist in a murder. Pups are barking, which means the dogs outside is barking. Oh, he's lovely. Only one black and... Congratulations, the compass gets nothing. Then we only need to figure out who the black and is in the killing, just like normal. Okay, okay, let me say that's a good whole shebang. This class trial, what you need to determine is the one true blackened. Because if I had the murder plan, put it into action. The true blackened is so this one person. That's a clear explain a thing. That's the end of the final battle between all of you and the blackened. Good luck to all the contestants. <laughs> I can't see why any why can't see how a cocoa would be connected to kids after all. You may be right. Um That's true, that's how I feel about you. However. Well she's not connected to the case, it doesn't matter. Let's get back to the investigation. I have absolutely no doubt the hero is responsible. But for the time being, I suppose it can't hurt to pursue further information. You know, I think we should consider certain someone's this is just in case I'm talking about the rest of the agents check. What? I'm offended! You- WHEN DID YOU- <laughs> I've been looking every way for you, master. When I woke up, you were nowhere to be found. Anyway, where's the milk sack somewhere? Huh? Milk sack? Well, I gotta be a suspect. I mean, you are a serial killer. So I'm like, supposed to get suspect every time I- I about you know. She's right about that. When we heard from him, she was with me. The body just, she was lying on the in the courtroom. Plus, Tucker's body is sad. I can't imagine any way she would have been able to move with Mummy's body. Yep. Besides, I can calculate every move I make. <laughs> they don't call me the murderous fiend for nothing. That's not the kind of thing you should be bragging about. On another topic, we should post the guard by the body like before we can't have them disappearing again. So then. Hina, I can handle that. You don't mind, do you, Hina? Sure, mm. I'd be totally like you should send an investigation anyway. It's all clear. Then nothing. That's uh, a lesbian. It's all saying it's so strange. All of us have an alibi, so figuring out who did it should be obvious, right? But maybe it's just me and I don't think I'm going straight for it as it seems. Alright. So uh, we're gonna do this. All right, we have the dolly, we have the bodies, and we have the girls. All right, he's in the tarp. So uh, let's start with the simplest thing, the one straight ahead of us. There's no our hammers and zipper slides hanging on the walls. So some of them are more like mallets. Mallets, because they're just a hammer I've been designed using. And use. Either way, all the hammers have been obviously a lot used to covered in zipper and chalky powder. Wait. For some reason, this hammer isn't at all, it's all wet. Someone washed it recently. Spotless hammer. Uh, let's check out the dolly. It's a dolly, it doesn't have a handle. I saw this in the art room before, I guess they've seen some statues around. It's kind of awkward, but you have to bend down to use it. How about a weight? Wasn't this in the crib room when we found Taco's body? Oh, ma'am, I... I'm very uncomfortable today. This heat is making me itchy. I seriously itch in the heat, which I find annoying as fuck, yet highly amusing. Because I could have a scratchy back with no fucking mosquito bites anywhere and just want to go... Basically, someone that has dressed up. And look at the wheels, there's a lot of a blessing on it. So this boat on wheels dolly has been moved from the equipment room to the repository. What's the explanation for that? To move someone's body? 
Alright, let's look at this. Taka, he'll never move again. According to Mount Kufla, he's either with a blow up to the head. He finds the rest of this hammer four near the body. The primary room is that was really used to kill him. There's a tarp laid out under his body. The killer used that to some move Taka's body. That way there wouldn't be any blood left on the body he's moved. Blue tarp. Alright, let's look at Fumi. And then we'll talk to the ladies. Who's Fumi's big, cold body is lying on the floor. Oh, what he has to specify it as big and big. That's just mean. He's a really big body. I mean, I don't know if the killer was able to move someone so big. From the nurse's office to where he discovered it in the repository. All the way from the first floor to the third floor and all without none. Anyone noticing? How the hell? This it's no good, I just don't get it, I think. I lay for now to finish the best game to fool myself. I'm not quite clear who. Fumi's final injury was also a blow to the head. Probably from just his hammer three, three, which was lying on the floor in the nurse's office. Oh, wait. Something's off about his body. Why am I getting this feeling? Something's different. Something about how Fumi's body in the nurse's office versus right here, right now. That's it. His glasses. When his body was in the nurse's office, his glasses were covered in blood. He didn't let me someone wipe his glasses off. Why was it do them? Why? Fumi's glasses have been added to the truce bullets. Alright, let's talk to them. Hey, yeah, look what I've been thinking about something. About the repository. Huh, what is it? I tried to have Fumi and Tak, this body has disappeared. So let's look around, right? I was really scared, so me and Sakura stuck together. And we came right to the repository, you know, to look around, but we got here. The repository was locked. We couldn't even get inside. It was locked. Mm. And we came here as soon as the search started, so some, no way someone could have beat us here. So let's ask you who locked it and why was it unlocked now. I was, I was wondering the same thing. The door was locked, the search of the bodies began, but now it's wide open. There might be some secret lurking in there, but I'll probably have to leave it. That's area to figure it out. That's your hint. That is one hint. I hate to heat. I really do. There are more active fucking blood sucking bugs. Like mosquitoes which irk me. Also I never go on hot pavement barefoot. So I'm actually very uncomfortable right now. Because I burnt my toes. There too m are many aspects to this incident this time. Too many to be honest. Considering that it may be good to look back on everything that happened. So Would you like my help? Uh, you know what? Let's just do this once. Yeah, let's look back on things. Mm. This morning, only four of us met up in the dining hall. And then Kyoko, you and myself. We waited for the others, but no one showed up, so we decided to go look for them. Mm. It was around 8 o'clock when we began our search. And soon after we split up, Kyoko disappeared. After that, Hina found Celeste in the rec room on the third floor. The quickly came and got you and me. According to Celeste, she was attacked by a suspicious individual in land costumes for about an hour. In other words, she was attacked an hour before we found her, meaning just after 7 o'clock. Based on the picture Celeste took, we discovered her attacker was dressed in a strange costume. It was Robo Justice. It also became clear that Robo Justice had dragged Sufumi away. After meeting up with Taco and Byakuya, Toko, not Taco, Toko, we began searching for the costume assailant. We found an injured Hifumi in the library on the second floor. We took him down to the nurse's office on the first floor, then resumed our search. But not long after leaving the nurse's office, 
What's wrong? I saw a shadow, so I move around upstairs. Based on Celeste's claim, we back to the second floor, so I began search. Then right after that, Celeste screamed this time, and apparently seeing the suspect on the third floor. Hearing her screams, we quickly made our way to the third floor. So strong, that was rather intense for someone like you. I saw him in a strange costume, and he ran off as soon as I screamed. He was blocking the stairs, so I headed further back in the hallway and disappeared. And then, huh, what was that? That came from downstairs, it must have been Hafumi. That's the nurse office, this is back, come on, we have to go back. At that point, we decided to split up into two groups. Celeste and I went back to the nurse's office, meanwhile Yubi Akaya took a picture of the suspects on the third floor. Then when we got back to the nurse's office... We found Hufumi's corpse, which was also the news about the announcement played. I left Celeste and Hino alone and headed back to tell what the others what happened. But at the same time, we discovered Taka's body in the equipment room. Which means Hufumi and Taka's were summoned around, around the same time. So I remember hearing the body discovered an announcement player after finding Taka. And that's when I showed up and told you about. told you and Byakuya about that female being held right. Then you and Byakuya headed back to the nurse's office, leaving Toka who had fainted. Both of us we left the physics lab, we ran into Celeste who just arrived to tell us something very unusual. So his body has disappeared. We hurried back to the nurse's office to discover his corpse is in fact gone. Then we remember we had abandoned our conscious Toko and rushed back to the equipment room. This can't be happening. Are we hallucinating this or something? This time Taka's body has disappeared. From there, we began searching for both missing bodies. After some time, Celeste so found the bodies, and we all headed to a repository. When we rediscovered the two bodies, they had apparently vanished. Oh, my neck needs a good crack. And that's what brings us up to now. Look at Max, things have certainly been very active. If you want to look back at the kids again, just let me know and find anything. Let's talk to Hina. I was just trying to do the about me after Fumi and Tag's body just disappeared. So I'm trying to, oh yeah, 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 do this. Blah, blah, blah. R. I went in and out of this room through the door that he must have was locked before. Definitely a lock in the Columbia lock from the inside of the repository. I don't see a way to lock it from the art room. Hmm. The door can only be locked from the inside of the repository, which makes me wonder. He and Sakura confirmed the door was locked after we started looking for the missing bodies. And this door is designed so it can only be locked from inside. <clears throat> in other words, when Hina checks the room, someone had already gone in the repository and locked the door. They were done the unlocked and left, which is why it's unlocked now. But he claims there was no way someone could have been in the repository, so that's when someone is the killer. Or is Celeste. Or is someone. I don't think it was. Could have been Kyoko, but she could not have seen the bodies left, and then someone put the bodies in right after. Could have been Hiro, but 
We haven't seen either of them. Could have been anyone, actually. Probably. I found everything. Lord, I looked at everything. What else is there to find? Oh, talk to him. This is one of the monitors. Well, like, who is? Don't have time to be staring at it. Let's talk to him. I didn't even know he was in here. Do you think you really did it? Hmm. I don't see how anyone can say I'm just gonna talk normally for this. Uh. Oh god damn! But when the attacks and murders had and disappeared as well often, everyone had a how of alibi, and the last thing he could be said when he said, uh, he said the Hero's name. Word. And there is no disrespect to anyone else. Okay, but if he did do it, why would he hide his identity with that weird costume? Maybe something, no matter what happened, he'd be safe as long as his face was covered? Because he's the fool of the century, you see? I mean, he is kind of dumb, but do you really think that's enough to explain it? I feel like there's a clue hiding in there somewhere. And is that it? That's all that bodies you about the kitten? Well, no, there's a few other things. Like, why does the killer try to hide the bodies? Hmm. Probably figure that we couldn't find the bodies and we couldn't complete our investigation. But if that's the case, we found the bodies pretty easily, didn't we? Kind of comes back to the fact that the culprit was a moron. Is that really all there is to it? The other thing that bothers me is, why do they bother killing two people? What? Because all the rule says is you kill someone, you get away with it. You graduate, right? So if you're the killer, your number one priority is not getting caught. But killing two people means more clues and more chances you'll get found out. Hold on, perhaps. I see, so this is what it means. Is everything okay? Don't talk to me as if we're friends. Oh, huh? what's the, the attitude? But you have my appreciation. Goodbye. Next year, my phone fun with this after all. He was bored because he assumed it was one person easily found out killed two people. But now he's thinking something else. I think something else is always fun. The dinosaur is hung in the air as he left me. He talks as if he figured something out. But if he did, he would have killed him to tell me who, what it was. And there's gotta be a clue around here. So I'm maybe I should somewhere else. Some places I already know about first floor and rest office where he was found. The room was stuck with sound. Let's go. We'll go to the equipment room since we're right here. And we can just go there easily because it's in the physics lab. So let's go. Oh, my knee. My knee. My knee. My knee. My knee. Ugh. Yeah, I'm very uncomfortable today. I'm not easy to be comforted. Which is sad because I'm normally quite laid back and chill, especially when I'm recording in some place I'm comfortable in, like my bedroom, which is where I record, honestly. But today is just uncomfortable. I don't know what it is. It could be the heat. Because it's supposed to be in the 90s today and my body's just like, bleh. But also because I got bit by a fucking mosquito fly, whatever the fuck it was outside. All I know is something landed on my skin, bit me, and I swung. I swung, stung myself by doing it. Because when I hit, I tend to hit hard. Even if I don't mean it, I hit hard. Like, oh, I see a bug, I want to kill the fucking thing, I'm hitting hard. But then when it's on a different person, I don't want to hit as hard, but I still want to kill the fucking thing. Especially if they're biting someone I care about, like my grandmother, or my handicapped sister, who honestly has a lot of allergies. But then again, I have allergies myself. But she'll pass out, so yeah. I'd rather take care of her than see her go down, so I will hit. And try not to hit as hard, but I wind up making her skin sting anyway. It's like, I'm sorry, I want to kill this thing! I swear I'm not a murderer, I just hate things that suck blood. Which is ironic because I love fucking vampires. Ooh, I should do a vampire game. 
really should, because that will just kill my fangirl obsession with them, because I'm like, DRINK FOR ME, VAMPIRE! And at the same time, I'm like, I'm gonna smack you upside your head if you try to bite me in the fucking neck. Oh, this stuff, I feel it like I've seen it somewhere before. Just recently, too. There's some kind of time I go through the pool of blood in the middle of the room that reminds me about the dolly in the repository. There was blood on the tire, because that blood had come from here. Which means the tech of was moved from the equipment room to the repository using the dolly. Both rooms have been on the surf floor, so it definitely should have been possible. Equipment room blood stained, but even if the dolly was used to move the body, what about Hufumi? Hufumi's body was in the nurse's office on the first floor. Even with the dolly, there's no way he could get it up to the surf floor. That's the total mystery. I'm rechecking everything. That's because it's a good idea. Justice Hammer 4, the weapon that was used to kill Taka. The body was moved, but the murder weapon was just left here. Yeah, you see, that is dumb. Let's talk to her. I was sleeping right here when the killer carried away the body. I'm super pissed that I missed such a all all timely event. That's really all this here in... And he had, well, the blue thing was what Taka was laying under, so we have that. Which I suppose is good? I don't know. I'm trying to think, but my brain is like, blah, 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 salt, blah, salt, blah, salt, blah, salt. Okay, my brain does not want to function right now, which is pissing me off. Because my brain normally functions like crazy, especially when doing shit like this. <sighs> okay, we're in the nurse's office. You know what's funny? I recorded this before, but I left out a big chunk of time. If I recall, <laughs> figure out what I have anything to drink inside after everything I've been through. I'm totally parched me, just could be. Just a bunch of blood packs in here for some blood transfusions, I guess. Does it help me though? I'm not a vampire. <laughs> ah, thank you! Thank you for the vampire a lot! Oh, that made my day! Oh, that made my day! Oh, I realized I had something in my pocket. Which could explain why I'm feeling uncomfortable, because it was in the ass pocket. Ugh, that helps. That helps. That helps the booty feel better. I like it when my booty feels nice! Okay, I'm hyper and I'm so sorry. That's a normal trash can home with something inside. Too small to be anxious. These glasses, clean cloth. I need to get me one of those again. I lost mine. It has some kind of cartoon character on it. Ugh, but it's covered in blood. Oh. Oh, did you find something? Yeah, there's a clean cloth in the trash can. Oh. Clean cloth, and it's all bloody. Whoever this belong to must have used it to wipe some blood. But who would need something like that? I haven't the slightest idea. Yeah, me either, but I think it might be important. Glasses cleaning cloths. Well, there's only like three people who have glasses, so our options are quite limited since one died. Just so, having an the one I was used to kill Hafumi. To kill. to kill Hafumi. To kill Hafumi! 
I'm gonna get my words right, y'all. Someone moves the body, but not the weapon. Again. Haha. -ha. What are you investigating, Celeste? I'm not investigating anything, but basically speaking. Something's going around. Seeing enough hero might be hiding somewhere. Mm. What about you? I mean, I'm checking this and that. The main thing I'm reminded is how someone could have moved to Fumi's body. How Fumi moved that? When it disappeared, you were supposed to be in the nurse's office, right? Yeah. Correct. Mm -hmm. Zena was not feeling well, so I stayed with her. But she seemed to be getting worse, so I took her to the bathroom. And when you got back, the body was gone. Mm. You can have it gone more than a minute or two, though. Yeah, he even said the same thing. So the killer was able to gain and move from Fumi's body in a short amount of time. Mm -hmm. Which seems so. To carry someone as big as Fumi in only a couple of minutes, I can't think of anything less than impossible. Last account. Alright, let's go. Let's go exploring more. So on the third floor. Let's go to the Ugh Okay, my tummy turned So this is where you were. I've been looking for you. You have I wanna thank you for what you did. Not that you meant to, but you ended up making this little game of ours much. Um, you should go to your hero's room. And let me give you this. Me in the dining hall. There's no hero that's beautiful, right? You remember well. Yes, I remember. Well, the penetration's pretty remarkable, so I lost an impression. It's all clear. Anyway, yeah, it makes it clear, right? This, this is a trap. What is? <laughs> Things are even more exciting. What are you talking about? What are you paid my debt? I don't want you any more than a... Goodbye. He just gave us a hint. This is a trap. Meaning this investigation is a trap? Or what I'm about to find is a trap? I'm gonna hear them, but was waiting for me in there. Let's go. I'm just gonna run it because it's not that far. Plus, I can show you more of what I like to do. In some games, when you get a rock and shit, I would actually walk around the square. But here, it doesn't do anything, so I'm like. Create a hoarding mechanic, but no reason for us to walk. Yeah, everyone's gonna pour it everywhere. Give us a reason to wanna walk, and wanna explore, and wanna look around, and I'm sure you'll get more shit. Other than the coins, because looking for sh shit gives us coins. <sighs> My tummy hurts. I regret eating what I did this morning. I do what I did this morning. I regret a lot of things tonight. I regret going on side barefoot. I regret letting myself get bit by a mosquito without hitting it in time. Or whatever the fuck that flying bug was. It landing on my skin that I smacked. Hurting myself doing it. I regret not sleeping. God damn it, I thought a cup of coffee would help. I am a coffee girl. I have a weakness. It is coffee. It is coffee and chocolate. Wanna get me like you? Coffee, chocolate, talk about vampires. If you talk about Twilight, I will hate you forever. That's one thing. Twilight is- no. Twilight is the modern girly shit of vampires. Not even the good ones. You want the good ones? Like hell. Even if some vampires do walk in the day, they do not sparkle. They fucking hide the ground. <laughs> go out into the fucking sun and go, ah, oh, this door is unlocked. I guess I can go inside. Be yeah, actually just say to go look in. It might not be a great idea, but I'm going to take the plunge. Dive in that shit, boy. Dive in it. Da 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 dive in it. Do, do. Oh my god.
This is what happens when you sleep hyper. It's not even just them, just like bouncy, 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 bounce. Like, I want to jump up and down. But at the same time, I'm like, too hot to move. Here it is, there's all kind of weird stuff in here. Where you get it all from. My own stuff has it. So, not for me to get. Let me play if I go and go through, use his permission. Think the blue turns to something in. And it looks like a cardboard plastic plaster. Is this for justice? And here, but wait. These blueprints. Something about them bothers me. Oh my god, the handwriting is atrocious. Oh, the handwriting is atrocious. The handwriting is. Uh, I think that's all we need in here. Yep. Okay. I actually want to leave it here on this cliff hanger because I'm really, really too hot to keep these headphones on my fucking head. And because my sister loaned me her game and I want to play it. That's why they have me like you. Give me games that I love. Games that I include Ty, Sly, Kingdom Hearts, Batman. Okay, and we're leaving this off with... Hina telling us big news. 